Hello everyone, I realized back in October that acrylic was not the best choice for the rail gun. At this thickness it had a tendency to be brittle and simply crack. At some point I got fed up of gluing it back together that I decided to find a new material. And the only appropriate thing lying around my house was some phenolic copper clad board. It is strong but the problem is that one side is coated with copper. If I use this as such for the railgun, the rails would be permanently shorted by the sheets holding them together and no current would pass through the projectile. Completely useless. Since I am now waiting for more PCBs, it's time to show you a part of my lab that you haven't seen yet. This table is dedicated entirely to chemistry and material science. Except for that hot air gun, of course. Don't be surprised when I say chemistry. I was a chemist before I was an electronics hobbyist. And now it's time to put that to some good use. Today I'll be showing you two solutions to clean and one to etch copper. If you're in the position that I am in, then it is a fact of life that you can't access ferric chloride. A simple Google search should provide some alternatives. This simple recipe I discovered uses three household ingredients. Vinegar, which is 5% acetic acid and some hydrogen peroxide of the same concentration. And of course some salt to taste, which acts as a catalyst. What you do is mix equal amounts of vinegar and peroxide in a shallow dish and drop your copper in. If you notice carefully, there's already a small change. The copper is slightly shinier since the oxides have now been reduced and washed away, exposing fresh copper which starts oxidizing. The reaction really takes off when you add salt. Now the way this reaction works is, copper is oxidized by the hydrogen peroxide since acetic acid is a weak acid and cannot oxidize copper on its own. Once the copper has oxidized, it can react with the acetate ions in the solution and form copper acetate which gives the solution a blue color. Sodium chloride acts as an electron mobilizer. Like I said, acetic acid is a weak electrolyte and is not very conductive. Since this whole reaction depends on the movement of electrons, it would make more sense to add something which makes the solution conductive. I've added two links in the description that help me figure this out. So the end result was that I had to use a lot of solution and a lot of salt to get a reasonably etched board. Of course it could have been better but this method is yet to be perfected. Now on to the promised copper cleaning solutions. Copper tends to oxidize when exposed to air, especially in the hot and humid air of my country. As you can see the multimeter readings are quite scratchy. The first solution I have is a commercial product meant to clean silver but it works quite well with copper too. The only disadvantage is the smell and the soapy residue it leaves behind. The second is an old Indian practice, lemon juice and salt, tried and tested though I am not sure how this works. Once the copper is clean, the surface conductivity shows a large improvement, perfect for rail guns. The only problem is that they oxidize within hours, a problem I am yet to solve. Maybe that's for another video. Stay tuned.